hope that this recording doesn't crash like the 10 before it. Um, Today I'm bringing you a new game. It's called uh, My Colony. Um, It's more or less a base builder game that is all set in space. And more or less that's it. You command a few rovers and you have more or less residential areas that can have people to move into them. And you... Uh, you sorry about that. And then you have uh, to more or less just continue building up your colony and whatnot and more or less yeah so i'm gonna make a new colony uh the uh zorlo zolarg empire and the league of independent states uh are harder because they use different things at the united earth but the united earth you have to pay tax and the zolarg you have to pay tax but it doesn't seem to be a problem for me after a while on united earth but the League of Independent States is alone by itself and whatnot. But for the sake of the Let's Play, we're going to go to United Earth. And so I usually use Red Planet. It is the easiest. And I use Small Map for less lag. And I more or less normally would use Normal. That colony name is going to be YouTube Ads. No idea why, but that's what it is. Alright, cool. New game. So, you spawn in here. You have your colonists. Well, there's supposed to be two. I don't know what the other one is. And you start off with your little rover, bro, here. And you tell them to go harvest. Oh, there's the second one. So, your rover will go out and come to these little ore deposits. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, they come to these ore deposits and they deplete, as you can see, went from 5,000 down to 4,990. So then afterwards, as you can see in the box up here in the top right where this thing a thing thing is, you can see we have 10 ore is what it's called. And if we come in here, inside our ship here, our lander, and we click on rover, it costs five ore. And as you can see, we have another ore bot over here. Huh, not ore bot, rover over here. Now, if you double tap, if you double tap on this and press hard, uh, if you double tap on any rover, it'll quick select, not quick select, uh, select all rovers and do said command. Now, it would be beneficial to have more robots, I mean, ro rovers, but doing it this way is pretty slow. So, what you can do is press this little build button at the bottom here, press the arrow, then scroll down to all vehicles and rover, and you can continuously tap on rover as many times as you want. Does you there's a uh, no limit or cap for any rover number per se so what i usually do is make a ton of rovers at the beginning and tell them to all go harvest and wait a couple minutes so uh i'll be back with you in a couple minutes see you guys then well due to the luckiness and of uh the placement of our um ore deposit here the rovers seem to have legit sit sat here and because they're in range of this uh, green square of the land pod they can get uh, put ore into the pod as storage but the thing is the ore deposit was right there and they were still in the range of this so they were just transporting it in immediately so I currently have 4930 ore which means if I quick select all of you not quick select uh, select all and oop damn I keep I'm not there we go I press build and we can build all of these but what I prefer to do first is generators now due to past experiences I will never again build solar panels as I once have more or less straight lines are your friend in this game as opposed to boxy structures such as this and if you were to like things like too wide are fine anything else they can't get to it if you were to like build it afterwards 
So I'm going to have them build some solar panels and I'll be back once they're done. Uh, I'll let you see some of the building. As you can see, the uh, deposit where they need to put inside of it and it gets built. The more bots you have, the faster the process is. As would make sense. Uh, uh, I decided not to cut this out the video due to the fact that it's so short and simple a process at the beginning when you have as many bots as this. So if you look up into our information box right here in the top right of the screen, you can see it says zero out of 83 power. Uh, we, uh, uh, game spawns with extra, with power. Oh, no, no, I, I will keep, I will keep lander. That would have been bad. I accidentally press sell. Okay. As you can see, it generates a total of three power at the beginning. And seeing as we have 10 solar panels that generate eight each, then it adds up to 83. Each building takes power, so if you want to see how much power and materials it'll take to uh, have the all the um, rovers, I mean, not have all the rovers, have uh, the building, you can go to a rover, press build, and you can see what you need. So, something that you'll need is a small vehicle factory. Now... I prefer to put these a little of the ways out because of the uh, size it takes to put them down and what I usually do with them after um, words. Now if we go to decorative, oh, it's not there yet. After we build these in, Sure to have something going on. And as you can see, it says uh, power is zero out of 83. It doesn't mean we have zero power. It means nothing we built is using power. Now, as you can see, I built a small uh, vehicle factory. Is that what I was called? Small vehicle factory. It um, says four out of 83 power. Because we're this building requires, uses four. And it says workers one. So if we come over to the rover, what well, I means zero out of one, we pick the we click on one, click on where it says two out of two residents, or later if you get the small shelters, it'll say however many out of three. You would click on that, uh, tap on that, and then it'll take you to the menu that shows the uh, residents. So if you uh, tap on a resident, its name, and then you press higher, and then you come back. You can tap the little pod icon on the left there and then whoop, click on the green and now they work at the small vehicle factory. Something else that would be beneficial for your colony is if you press this build button at the bottom, you go to, is it food currently? Yes, it is. And it would be greenhouse and you take the greenhouse and you would place it somewhere reasonable, kind of out of the way like that but we're only going to do one for now and all the rovers are going to go and head over and do that and then afterwards we can place down a few what are things uh this confused me first time around and when i first started the game i saw these yellow lines and had no idea what it is so, like, things like small water pumps or something, uh, usually you want to put them in bulk. So, if, like, you place down something like that and you see these yellow lines, if you tap farther down on the yellow bricks, it'll go all the way to that point. Then, if you tap that again, it'll, as you can see, makes building these a lot faster. Confirm. And let's hope I do not run out of ore, because that will be embarrassing. But they don't seem to be too expensive, and I think they're building so fast they're generating lag, but I don't think it's too much lag. Yeah, I'm fine. So I'll come back when these small water things are finished. Okay, now that these are done uh, being built, 
they're in idle if you tap on all bots and press park and you tap on a location say this spot here while they're being idle it'll as you see it so at the bottom it said parking spot desig designated which means they'll all more or less go generally near into the same area and more or less relax or chill and as opposed to actually doing something so seeing as we built a small vehicle factory if we go down to all vehicles we as you can see we have a lot more uh bots than just the rover an essential one at the start would be builder bot so what i like to do is because I have OCD and numbers have to be important and and whatnot, I always build five to begin with. With rovers, it's kind of something I can't really control. Like I only do things I can control. But like, because at, at the beginning of the game, it uh, rovers are essential, and I kind of don't care for number. But with like uh builders, it it kind of makes me feel good. So pavement is something that makes like the like makes it look like kind of like a sidewalk but ah, your colonists don't walk faster on it only like the rovers and the ore bots and everything you saw in the like bot menu will go a lot faster on these uh silo stores food uh water tank stores water greenhouse as you already know small water pump and that internet relay booth is uh, something that increases uh, increases entertainment. So, like your colonists will stay happy if there's a lot of in, like things to. Uh, sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, things to keep them busy, like entertain them, because there's like things later in the game, like green domes. That's like a park under like a dome, and it's like it's actually pretty fine. And it makes them not happy because I have a save currently where I didn't have anything down because I thought I didn't need it. And then everything went bad and there's like seven, eight people on protest and it like there's a bunch of people sick and I don't know how to deal with it. So as you can see, there's also a small shelter and landing pad or refinery. So what you want to get first is the landing pad if you have enough for it now the landing pad is a pretty big one as you can see it's a three by three and i'll put it behind actually i'll cancel that i have to cancel that because eventually we want to upgrade these solar panels and we won't be able to upgrade them if there's something in the way so i'll put this behind the uh i want to put it behind the i don't want to put it behind the small vehicle factory either no, not towards them. All buildings. Uh, pavement silo. Landing pad. Okay. So where we could put it is kind of out of the way out here. Because it's not really that important. But it does bring in colonists. But that's like eventually. Now what this ore refinery does is like... The bots come out after you make something called an ore bot. It like goes out, collects these brown ore deposits, and it brings them to the refinery, and then it turns it into refined ore, uh, which is steel apparently, and the steel is used to build m improved improved items and whatnot so i'll be back when the refinery is built now that you have the refinery built if you go into the all vehicles menu you already have the ore miner but if we make that as you can see we can make two because of the small vehicle factory and the refinery link well not refinery link the refinery sorry watching slime rancher earlier anyway i pretty sure i made six and i want to make ten but for the sake of the video i'm just gonna relax here and 
when you press harvest, as you can see, all the ore bots go out. And as you can see, there's lag because it's the first time we've done this on this colony. So, all right, there we go. Lag cleared up. They come over here. They take from the ore deposit. And as you can see, this little guy right here comes back to the refinery. And sits there. And then they deposit the ore in. And then it goes and turns into steel. But that's eventually when you have, as you can see, this bar right above this builder bot here it fills up and then that's when you get your steel now later in the game there's advanced ones and they work faster but you'll need more people to more or less man the stations so to say well that's gonna leave it for this video how uh let it run for a while and after in between videos and gain like steel and or and whatnot, but try not to progress too much off camera and confuse you guys. This is your boy Ash Ravagato, and I'm signing out. See ya.